Welcome to the blues, my rebels. Welcome to the blues. This here is where we give you news from the street perspective, where we weed out all the BS. We give you news the way you need it, the way you want it, and how you expect it to be. I'm your boy, Black Fist, and the rebel number one, my rebels. The 2022 midterms are done. They are long over. It is a wrap. And the loonies have taken over the asylum. With that being said, that's a perfect segue into giving you a brief overview of all the characters that have stepped up on the scene and made themselves known to the American people. Now, the first character whom we all know and love, old Blondie herself, Miss MTG. A lady is so cold, she goes by her full governmental, Marjorie Tyler Green. And if you call her anything else, a lady by anything else will not respond because she's only going by Marjorie Taylor Green. I mean, she's a fashionista, a gun enthusiast, a recent divorcee, and in my personal opinion, a woman who needs some major pipe in her life. But that's a story for another day. Now, since we want to concentrate and put the spotlight on MTG today, I'm going to give you a rush through of all the other characters that, trust me, have made your funny bone happier. Trust me and believe. Now, we're going to start with a newcomer on the scene. Oh my goodness, that newcomer on the scene, he's the laughable, the fallible, the October surprise personified, the human November to remember, and the big December fibber, Mr. Herschel Crazy Talker Walker himself. Hey, this man here said he actually saw Jack and Jill run up a hill. And since he was just so conservative, he had to reach out to his homeboy, Peeping Tom, and say, where they going? What they doing? And why they doing it? But he also came back and said he believed he saw a cow jump over the moon. But again, he also said, who would he to judge? Because in his past life, Herschel said he had rather been a werewolf than a vampire. Check the facts. I'm going to tell you to keep the faith. Oh, you ever watch a stupid movie late at night hoping it's going to get better, don't get better, but you keep watching it anyway? Because the other night, the other night I was watching this movie, I was watching this movie called Fright Night, Freak Night, or some type of night, but it was about vampires. I don't know if you know vampires are some cool people, are they not? But I'm going to tell you something that I found out. A werewolf can kill a vampire. Did you know that? I never knew that, so I didn't want to be a vampire anymore. I wanted to be a werewolf. Wow. You can't make this stuff up. I mean, it basically and literally writes itself. But you know what? Then there's the good old reliable veterans. I mean, these are the ones that can that you can always depend on for a good old hypocritical laugh like the great line Ted Cruz. I mean, he never disappoints. But you know what? I don't do him any justice. But the way I say it, nah, we're going to let his daddy say it. Check him out. It's Lion Ted Cruz, I'm telling you. Lion Ted, Lion Ted. What's your name? My name's Lion Ted Cruz. Lion Ted, Lion Ted, Lion Ted, Lion Ted, Lion Ted, Lion Ted. What's your name? My name's Lion Ted Cruz. <laughs> what I tell you, I'm telling you, it, it gets better. But you know what? There is maybe a possible close second. His uncle. Check him out. Line Ted! Line Ted! Line Ted! Line Ted! See? What did I tell you? 
They are so tightly knitted together, you can't even tell who's who. But then it don't stop there. We got Mr. O Grand O Lindsay, Mr. Antebellum Graham himself, straight out of South Carolina. South Kakalaki for you outsiders. Yes, indeed. This man is all over the place, all off in Georgia's business. If doing too damn much was a person, oh, Mr. Lindsay, Mr. Antebellum Graham would be front and center. Yeah, but guess what? With this clown and Ted Cruz, the second clown, and then couple him with, couple them with the old puppet himself, Mr. Herschel Walker, they just keep the internet winning. Unbelievable. But you know what? We're going to go on and get into your girl, Miss MTG. We got to get into her. So, the obvious first question is, who the hell is MTG? Well, according to her Ballotpedia page, we can get her basic canned bio. But do we really want to know that info? Ah, me think not. See, in order to know who MTG is, you got to hear who MTG is. Here are some of her thoughts on some of her Democrat opponents, Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. There's growing outrage tonight over comments by Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, including calls for her to be expelled from Congress. The Republican freshman has advocated the execution of Democrats such as Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton and endorsed wild conspiracy theories about the Parkland shooting. Now, imagine an elected official publicly calling for the execution of another American official. But no, she don't just stop there. She don't just limit her vileness to just grown folk. No, 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 no. She spreads that stuff around like good seasoning. She's an equal opportunity vile giver. See, just look at how she treat young people, a young person who may be permanently traumatized by acts of gun violence at a very young age. Play the clip. How did you get over 30 appointments with senators? How'd you do that? How did you get major press coverage on this issue? And how did you get kids? Why do you use kids? He's got nothing to say. Sad. He has nothing to say because there really isn't anything to say, you guys. He has nothing to say because he's paid to do this. He had 30 30 um, appointments where he ran around and got to talk to senators. I got to talk to none. None. Now, this is from a damn adult woman with children, possibly that young man's age. But give me more, MTG. Give me more. He had media coverage all over the place. I had zero. Guess what? I'm a gun owner, I'm an American citizen. And I have nothing. But you do have something. You have your citizenship and your gun. But you see, OMTG don't just stop there. She believes in direct, in your face intimidation by any means necessary. You see, one would think that OMTG ran for the House of Representatives to do good Thanks for the good people in the good state of Georgia. No, 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 no. She didn't read the job profile. See, each representative is elected for a two-year term serving the people of a specific congressional district. Among other things, reps introduce bills, resolutions, offer amendments, and serve on committees. In other words, servant fucking leadership. But I digress. 
No, she didn't read the profile. It says fight for the people of Georgia. All people of Georgia. But she only want to fight for her contemporaries. The Shakespearean protagonist versus antagonist. Check the clip. The video from 2019 surfaced today showing Green addressing Ocasio-Cortez through her door. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, I'm an American citizen. I pay your salary through the taxes that you collect from me through the IRS. I'm a woman, I'm a female business owner, and I'm proud to be an American woman. And I do not support your socialist policies. If you want to be a big girl, you need to get rid of your diaper and come out and be able to talk to the American citizens instead of us having to use a flap, a little flap. So here we are. If she is not bullying her friends on the other side of the aisle, she is spending the remaining amount of her free time digging herself so far down the rabbit hole of her irrational conspiracies. Now, there are conspiracies, but then there are deranged bird brain MTG level of conspiracies. And yes, there are levels to this. She just happened to be up there next door to bruh man on the fifth floor. Hey everyone, this is Marjorie Green. I am excited to talk to you guys today. I want to go through the entire story of everything that's been going on. Have you guys been following 4chan? Q, any of that stuff. Anybody? It's a story that if you were actually to write this in a book, um, honestly, I probably would quit reading the book because it's so unbelievable. It's an anonymous person. All right, so um, Q is a patriot. We know that for sure. It's not just Democrat and Republican, left and right. You can dive down in that civil war into deeper levels where we have basically the deep state is fighting back against President Trump, his loyal, the loyal people in his administration, and the American people, okay? I mean, is it going to be true that the child pedophilia and the elites in the Washington, D.C., is that what we're really going to see come out? Is it true? Is the type of corruption we're going to see come out, is it going to be satanic worship that possibly all these people are involved in? Have you seen, and I've asked Will this before, the picture of Ruth Bader Gingrich walking through the airport. This woman has been drawn over for how many years? And all of a sudden, she's walking straight up, right? Like, it's a whole new it's person. Almost like Do a you body believe double, like that Hillary is Clinton. Ruth? Yeah, like, like yes. the body double for Hillary Clinton. So it's interesting. Yes. So I do not believe that was Ruth. No, I don't think so. There's possible satanic worship, and maybe that all these scary things that that people talk about on what's considered conspiracy th conspiracy sites and conspiracy theories really may be true. Um, but that's, that's what Q has been telling everyone. We had witnessed 9-11, right? We had witnessed 9-11, uh, the terrorist attack um, in New York and the plane that uh, crashed in Pennsylvania and the so-called plane that crashed into the Pentagon. It's odd there's never any evidence shown for a plane in the Pentagon. But anyways, I won't, I'm not going to dive into the 9-11 conspiracy. Q is trying to tell people on these forums and 4chan, and he's trying to tell people the truth. And he does it through questions, asking questions, asking questions, and giving clues. And so it's basically, you know, you're going down the rabbit hole. You're following the white rabbit, and you're figuring it out. I've got a question for you. How do you get avid gun owners and people that support the Second Amendment to give up their guns and go along with anti-gun legislation? Maybe you accomplish that by performing a mass shooting into a crowd that is very likely to be conservative, very likely to vote Republican, very likely to be Trump supporters, very likely to be pro-Second Amendment, and very likely to own guns. Is that what happened in Las Vegas? Is that why... Um, 
the country music festival was targeted? I have a lot of questions about that. I don't believe Stephen Paddock was a lone wolf. I don't believe that he pulled this off all by himself. They destabilized the Middle East. That's what happened, okay? So that, <laughs> that happened during Barack Obama's presidency. Okay, but let's keep going. Let's keep talking about whatever happened. Yes, I do believe he is a Muslim. And yes, Valerie Jarrett is too. And she's a big issue too. According to Q, now I'm saying according to Q, again, I don't have any proof of this, but I'm, we're talking about who is Q, so I'm going to tell you what he says. According to him, many in our government are actively worshiping Satan, or they call Moloch. MS-13, everyone, under Obama came MS-13. There's a lot to that. You have to understand. There's they have very good they had very good relationships with MS-13. MS-13 was basically like they were the kind of the henchmen of the Obama administration. They did a lot of the dirty work. Seth Rich. Seth Rich was murdered by two MS-13 gang members. That's what I mean by dirty work, okay? There's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to take this global cable of Satan-worshipping pedophiles out. And I think we have the president to do it. And so I'm very excited about that. After listening to all the cuckoo bird theories, here is yet again another perfect segue. This time into her many legal issues surrounding her verbal participation in incitement of all the loonies that stormed the American's capital on January 6th. Now, to make this very long story short, I'm going to give you the abridged version. A few voters in MTG's district represented by a nonprofit group called Free Speech for People. They're charging MTG should be disqualified from running or even being allowed to sit and represent Georgia in the House of Representatives. They allege she encouraged and supported the rioters who stormed the nation's capital on January 6th. So now that we have all the mashed potatoes all thick and buttery, let's add a little gravy. Now, the lawyers for the people, their case is based solely on a rule in the U.S. Constitution, a section of the 14th Amendment that forbids any member of Congress involved in an insurrection from serving in office. Now, the people's evidence are all mostly video posts created by MTG herself. So now she all in court can't remember jack shit. Let's check the receipts. You didn't talk to anybody in government about the fact that there were going to be large protests in Washington on January 6th. I don't remember. You spoke to Representative Biggs or his staff about that fact, didn't you? I do not remember. How about Representative Gosar? I'm sorry, I don't remember. Did anyone ever mention to you the possibility that there might be violence in Washington? I don't remember. Ms. Green, this is a tweet that you sent out uh, on January 2nd, 2021, correct? I'm not sure. Okay. You don't recall this? I, I don't okay. recall tweeting that, no. Did you advocate to President Trump to impose martial law as a way to remain in power? I don't recall. 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 She need her ass beat. And I mean with two of those green, green switches. The kind that mama used to make you grab from the top of the bush. Braid them all up and commence to whooping that ass. Good old fashioned southern made ass whooping. But you see, if you listen to this next clip, she started to sing a whole new different song when that old boy brought out those CVS long receipts. Oh, listen close. Check the tape. Do you think that Speaker Pelosi is a traitor to the country, right? Uh, you're, I'm not answering that question. It's speculation and it's you, hypothetical. You've, you've said that, haven't you, Ms. Green, that she's a traitor to the country? No, I haven't said that. Okay. 
Put up plaintiff's exhibit five, please. Which oh, no, wait. Hold on now. I believe by not upholding the uh, se securing the border that that violates her oath of office. <sighs> was at that point when she heard old boy say, okay, okay, you want to play rough? I play rough. That's when she knew she fucked up. Listen close. Listen. No, I haven't said that. Okay. Put up plaintiff's exhibit five, please. Which, which... Oh, no, wait. Hold on now. Okay. Put up plaintiff's exhibit five, please. Which, which... Oh no, wait. Okay. Put up plaintiff's exhibit five, please. Which, which... Oh no, wait. So you see, one thing is for certain, and two things are for sure. The one thing for certain is that disease called selective amnesia. It's a real thing. It is a real thing. And the two things for sure that I know are for sure is one, she ain't no mini Ripperton, and I ain't trying to go back down memory lane. And the second thing that's for sure that I know for sure is that MTG not only stands for her government, Marjorie Taylor Greene. MTG also stands for Memory the Fuck Gone. We'll see you next time on the Blues. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs>